Hello and welcome back to another match preview. This time it's the game against Blackburn, our penultimate home game of the season and one which we can start to experiment and start to enjoy the football a bit more because we're finally safe. And somebody who commented on Twitter to me saying that why are we settling for this? Why are we settling for just you know celebrating a win against Leeds to secure our championship status? And I completely agree, it isn't something that we should be doing, but in the context of this season and considering what has happened to the club in the last 12 months, I think it's it was vital that we did maintain our championship status and if you remember about a month ago, six weeks ago, it looked as if we were going down. So for us to get out of that position and out of that danger I think is great and we now need to be looking forward to next season and blooding some of these youngsters now and seeing if they can make any impact on the team in these last three games, four games. Uh, so yeah, players like Donovan Wilson, Harry Burgoyne, Herc, Christian Herc, who I saw playing for the under-23s, Duckins and Azon. No, I'm not sure whether Niall Ennis is fit, but he's somebody we need to be looking out for and we'll see him a lot more next season. Not sure what's happened to Brighton and Bakari as well recently. He featured quite a lot the first half of the season. Seems to have gone a little bit quiet now. Um, whether he's injured or not, I'm not actually too sure. And as we've got nothing to lose, we may as well see Paul Gladden up front as well. That's what I want to see. We have got to show respect to the league and to Blackburn, our um, opponents, who are fighting for their lives. 22 years ago, they were lifting the Premier League trophy and now they're facing being relegated to League One, which is, for them, a proud club, a historic club, is a dreadful thing to happen. But, you know, we've been down to League One, Leeds have been down to League One, Leicester have been down to League One, and all of us have managed to come out of it in a good position. So, for me, I quite enjoyed the League One season, but I can understand why it's not something that you want to go and do. You don't want to go to Stevenage. If Blackburn do win on Saturday, if they do beat us, then it would see them dragging Birmingham possibly into the relegation zone, which will be um, something that a lot of Wolves fans would like to see. As Paul Lambert said in his preview, he doesn't want to see, he wants us to beat Blackburn but he wants them to stay up as well. And interestingly, I just had a quick flick back through the league positions for the rest of this season. And Birmingham, on the 28th of November, were fourth in the league. And it's been an almighty slide for them. And when you've been on a slide for that long, it's so, so difficult to get out of it. And I can't see any other result for them, regardless of who's in charge. I can only see them getting relegated. I think that Tony Mowbray and Blackburn have got enough in their squad to maybe squeeze out one win out of their last three games. I mean, they've got us now, they've got Villa and they've got Brentford. Three tricky games for them. They're playing against three teams now who've got nothing to play for as well. Three teams who are on the beach. Blackburn... I've got two former Wolves players in the team. They've got Charlie Mulgrew and Danny Graham, both of whom didn't really set the world alight while they were at Wolves. So almost nailed on to score against us. The game earlier in the season, we drew one all with the protesters from Blackburn missing both of the goals. David had celebrated his 300th appearance for Wolves as well against Leeds when he captained the side to a win. So congratulations to my favourite, Dave. Well done, Dave. Uh, a little bit of transfer news as well. It looks like Wolves are going to sign Andy Vyman, which I think is going to be a good signing for us if we can sign somebody else to play alongside him who's going to be a goal scoring, you know, 20 goals a season, 30 goals a season. Vyman won't be that for us, but he'll be a good foil to somebody else and these runs that he makes off the ball and the way he can go around players as well. I think he's... Is a good addition to the squad. For 1.5 million as well, it's not too much of a dent into what we expect to be quite a big transfer budget for this um, summer. Also, it's quite tragic news, quite sad news from uh, well, Tottenham in the end. Uh, Hugo Ekio passing away. Very sad to hear that. I remember him playing uh, for Villa and for England. I, I can't believe he only got four caps. For me, I, I remember him playing quite a few times, but maybe it was just a short spell where I was really into the England team and um, I remember him scoring in fact in a friendly at Villa Park I believe, C correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't done any research about that but yeah, terrible terrible news there. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, I'll be doing a match day vlog from tomorrow's game, I'm looking forward to it and hoping to see some young players playing for the Wolves tomorrow. Don't forget to drop a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe to see more Wolves content, I'll see you soon, bye bye.